So as you can see we're starting to get a good collection of pots together now. I've made a start on the firebox back plate and the boiler back plate. In this video I'm going to continue working on these and I'm also going to make the wrapper plate. So this has to have a cut out to fit this in, which actually fits on the back side. And this has to have the same cut out to fit on there like that. So these spigots go, go through the plates and this gets silver solar together. So as you can see, I've already marked out the position. I've placed this on here and I've traced around with a scriber. And we're going to try and kill two birds with one stone. We're going to put this in its right position and I'm going to mill through both at the same time. position yeah that looks good Before I go to the mill I want to go around the profile with a with a centre pop and just make some centre pop so that I can see the line a little more clearly and also probably this uh, marker black that I've got on here may disappear which means it will make it even more difficult to see the line so that's what I'm going to do Okay, we're well, at the deckel mill. The total thickness of copper is 5mm, so initially I'm going to go down, say a millimetre at a time, and take longitudinal cuts the full length uh, until we get the full depth, and then we'll work sideways cutting full depth, maybe a millimetre at a time. Um, it's a 10mm cutter, it's brand new, nice and sharp. So let's get going. Okay, that would make that do.
after some cleaning up with a file, the fire hole tube fitted nicely in the two plates. Unfortunately I cannot show you this part of the job because I forgot to press record on the camera. This is my setup for doing the uh, firebox wrapper plate. So these are the two um, internal plates. This is the rear firebox plate and this is the firebox tube plate. And this is the wrapper material which I've annealed. So you need to wrap this around uh, to form the shape of the two plates. I've left a little bit of a gap at the bottom in case it tries to pull up as we form it over the two plates. I've got a piece of wood at the back here which keeps it nice and tight against the two plates so it keeps that straight. So we'll just see how we get on. So I'm using a flat piece of wood to wrap it, try and force it to wrap around. So the idea of the wood is it'll keep it an even load across the material as we form it around the two plates. Um, so let's see how we get on. It's looking pretty good. Hopefully it's long enough. Just wants to go in here a little bit. Nice. That's fitting very nicely. Easier than I expected. Yeah, happy with that.